Hello Sam, it's Tuesday. Today I am talking about what is in a fast food burger. Now some of you may already know, we already know that it has bad stuff in it and that it's bad for us that I'm hungry now. Well, you guys don't actually know what is inside of the burger. I mean, it's kind of meat, but mostly not. Here is a link to a video um, which has some ingredients and that based my research off this video. Here's another link to a video where John Green eats the ingredients of a Carl's Jr. Uh, burger. It's something, I don't know what it is. Some weird burger. Uh, but he doesn't eat the burger. He eats the ingredients. And so it looks like a giant pink blob of a sandwich. So yeah, enjoy. But anyways, let's get down to business. I'm going to be talking about the Big Mac today. I'm going to name off the ingredients for a Big Mac bun. Okay, this is a bun. Now, it might not be correct, but I, I got it offline, so bear with me. So, to begin, oh, uh, and I don't have the amount of ingredient dish. So, yes. To begin, we will uh, start, let's start this. The biggest things are enriched flour, which is bleached wheat flour, malted barley flour, niacin, reduced iron, thiamine, mononitrate, riboflavin, folic acid, and enzymes. That's just for enriched flour. Then we have water, high fructose corn syrup, sugar, soybean oil, and or partially hydrogenated soybean oil. And then we go to the lesser amounts of items. It all, the bun also contains 2% or less of the following. Sal bleh, salt, calcium sulfate, calcium carbonate, wheat gluten, ammonium sulfate, ammonium chloride, cl ammonium chloride, sodium steroid lactylate, datum, ascorbic acid, azodicarbonamide, mono and diglycerides, ethoxylated monoglycerides, monocalcium sulfate, enzymes, guar gum, calcium peroxide, soy flour, calcium propionate, which is a preservative, sodium propionate, which also is a preservative, soy lech lecithin, sesame seed, and then dough conditioner. Ladies and gentlemen, that is all for two pieces of bread, which could just be yeast, wheat, and water. But instead we have niacin, wheat gluten, datum, enzymes. Enzymes! I mean, like, it's just ridiculous. It's a long list of just two slices. It's why do I eat fast food? You know, another thing I named was soy. Now, soy is very, very highly genetically manufactured, which means they put things inside of your food that kills other things. I mean, it's the it's a pesticide, but you're eating small traces of pesticides in regular, f just all day food, you know? 
in my eighth grade social studies class, we went out and uh, researched a common or just current events or whatever that and we we were playing like government and we were supposed to pass make laws and pass them. So one kid did genetically manufactured uh, foods and soy was one of them and it was something around 90% of all soy in the United States is genetically manufactured. I mean I'm not sure if it's if eating all this fake soy is good or bad for you. I'm I don't know. The world sucks. Yeah. Yeah. And now for the sauce. Again, a very 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 long list of ingredients. So to begin, so to begin, our Big Mac sauce. We start out with our soybean oil, pickle relish, which in, which is made of diced pickles, high fructose corn syrup, sugar, vinegar, corn syrup, salt, calcium chloride, axan gum, potassium sorbate which is a preservative, spice extra extractives, and polysorbate 80. What the heck? It also includes distilled vinegar, water, egg yolks, high fructose corn syrup, onion powder, mustard seed, salt, spices, propylene glycol alginate, sodium benzoate, which is a preservative, mustard bran, not brain, mustard bran, sugar, garlic powder, vegetable protein, which is consisting of hydrolyzed corn, soy, and wheat, and which is another fancy name for MSG. It also includes caramel color, which is food coloring, extractives of paprika, Soy lethicin, turmeric, T U R M E R I C, which is a color, calcium, oh, and calcium disodium EDTA, which is to protect flavor. This is too much for a sauce, okay? What is up with the world? Why do we need to eat these weird foods? Um, just to let you know, I guess it's made of 100% beef because there wasn't anything on this website to, you know, rant or vent about the meat they use. Um, so yeah. Oh. And I read somewhere that the meat is consisting of a thousand different other cows. I mean, I'm not sure if that means that they use a thousand cows or they take a thousand cows, parts of a thousand cows, and put it in one burger. I mean, you should only use one part of a cow. <sighs> Ugh. I'm probably wrong on this part, this whole thing. People are probably gonna be like, hey, that stuff's not bad for you. Yeah, most of the stuff probably isn't bad for you because they put it in your food. But, you know, it's just, why do they need 50 things for a bun? It's just stupid. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna, yeah, I don't know if I should keep on eating fast food or food in general. Yeah. Yeah. Changing the subject, Sam, I decided to recommend songs to you. I mean, I like certain songs and I like to recommend them. And you might have heard them already, but what the heck, you know? 
something new and different. So yeah. Today's song is Kissing the Lipless by The Shins. Right there, down there, down, whatever age you're in, it's there, somewhere. So yeah. See you tomorrow, Sam. Live nude, Sam Murray. <laughs>